welcome back a long time no see and good morning good afternoon and good evening wherever you are stay safe stay at home together we can stop this COVID-19 pandemic nowadays the pandemic getting worse all over the world and be safe okay on this video I'm going to show you a tutorial how to revert back to stock MIUI whatever device you use uh, especially the Xiaomi device the older method seems not working now especially using the Mi Flash Tool Pro after this I show you what happened to the tool and on this video I am going to show you how to flash stock MIUI 12.07 on the Redmi Note 8 Pro this is a MTK SOC and flashing stock MIUI 12 also on the Redmi 7 this one is a Snapdragon 62 and also on Redmi 10X 5G uh, MediaTek SOC this one also known as the uh, Begonia the codename Honklite and Atom first this tutorial only for the device with unlock bootloader for the lock bootloader you can try but I'm not sure whether it's working or not. To be on a safe side, you better unlock your bootloader. First thing, after you unlock your bootloader, install TWRP and back up the most important partition NVRAM for the MediaTek SOC and EFS for the Snapdragon that is the partition contain your IMA number without it if the partition are corrupt then your pawn pretty useless okay You can see my Redmi 7 already problem. See, after this, we flash the stock ROM on the Redmi 7 on Clyde. See, error. Okay let me show you the tool that I used pre uh, previously used to flash the fast boot ROM Xiaomi Mi Flash Pro I'm sorry if the video are too long because I want to explain everything for you so that you understand what to do and what not to do especially with this tool for MTK there is another tool to flash the ROM SP flash tool please don't use that one unless your device is hard brick for the soft brick if you still got the bootloader then you are pretty safe you see first thing it do come on Malaysia Let 
Maybe, yeah. Hmm. See? It tried to log into my... account first. Okay, we log in first. The older one better. This is the latest one. Alright, we don't want to use that one. Let's get the uh, older version of Mi Flash Pro. Mm, from here better. Link for everything. Uh, I will give it in the description. Get the older one, this one, less problem. If you soft break your device, you still got the bootloader. That's important, the bootloader. If you can't see the bootloader, then the other method is to bypass the security the authentication here the already already test this one it's working you must follow the instruction carefully especially the bypass mtk tool and also for those who are using Windows 10 then first disable the security Disable the real time protection if you want to install the yeah, the tech bypass tool and just follow the instruction on the tool to install the Python. This is a must. This you have to install the Python 3.91. Pretty straightforward the instruction. This for the hard brick device. For soft brick, better use other method. Okay, we already finished download. Try the older version of Mi Flash Pro. The newer version seems pretty useless. Always asking for your Xiaomi account. Let's try the older version. Sorry for the long video. better sorry than never if you break your device then it's a waste a total waste of your money this is the older version see the older version are better it don't ask for sign in to your account okay let's press the Atom first, let me 10 x 5G. You 
you must boot to bootloader power off or reboot hold the minus button to go into the fa uh, fast boot mode hold the minus button press power button now we are in a fast boot and one more thing for redmi 10x for redmi note 8 and a newer device the usb port you must use the usb version 3.0 if your pc still use the usb port 2.0 then you can flash the fast boot rom on the device the USB port 3.0 are blue color you see the port the USB and the black port are USB 2.0 if your PC come with two port one is 2.0 and one is 3.0 okay now I'm connecting to my Atom let me 10x 5G via USB cable and another thing make sure the driver for the device are properly installed Android Composite ATB is one important okay this is my MI10 this is the device we already put to bootloader fast boot mode let's say we try to flash in a fast boot see okay I try to log into my account Whoa. even log in take time you hold on already sign into my account see the tool are not active that suck maybe show me blocking us from using the tool whatever tool and this tool also not very safe to use don't use this to always get error the best is in fast boot see even you try to flash in recovery whatever And another tool, SP Flash tool. Also, don't use that one. This one. What the hell happened? It's freezing. This tool only if you heartbreak your device and your uh, 
Hey, where's my camera? And your first boot already gone, already corrupt. And when you press the button on your phone, any button, the, the phone are not responding. That means it's heartbreak. If you still can see your fast boot logo, that's soft brick. Soft brick is still can be safe. So for the flash tool, the scatter file. Atom using the six eight seven three. See the error. So forget about this tool. Shit on the company egg. So the other walk around to flash the ROM. There is a way. This is the Xiaomi ADB Fastboot tool. To use this tool, it's connected to Atom. You must to use this tool. You must have uh, Java Java runtime installed on your. PC I'm using Java it release 2 for 1 you can download it free uh, install it then you can use the tool just search on the net Java A lot of Java. Oracle. Let us run a uh, version eight. File around hundred plus megabyte. Okay, let's begin using the tool and. It's unlocked already. Let me explain about the ROM. Okay, Atom. This is the option you have to use. Don't use the, the other two. Select the ROM you want to flash. My ROM are inside my ROM folder. Click Atom, highlight it, and select folder. So, it detect the Atom image, and the method clean install, clean install and lock or update. So, in this method, I'm going to use clean install. I don't want to lock it or update. Okay, see, this is the ROM. We are using the flash all command. Another one is flash all and lock. And another one, flash all, accept your data storage. If you are coming from the same ROM, let's say you soft brick. At the moment, your ROM are version 12.06 or 12.07. But you soft break it, you cannot boot to the system, then you can choose the update or clean install. Hey, don't use the clean install, uh, this thing will wipe your user data. Use the update only. That means it overrides the system without you losing your data 
especially the game you already installed on your device okay the clean all let's see the command there same as when you are using the let's say over here hold shift button on your keyboard and open the command file shell window if you are using adb flash one by one let's say you corrupt the uh, put image you corrupt the system especially the super image because the atom the new device that come with android 10 uh, using the super image this one on the older android the redmi note 8 pro still using system plus vendor this system already contain the google and on this atom the redmi 10 x 5g you see no more vendor there only user data super inside this super there is vendor and for some rom there is another product image everything inside there so let's begin flashing over here my pawn still in a fast boot want to wipe the user data you can wipe it now I'm going to clean install it flash from see it flashing manually you can see the on the pond there see here it's flashing This is the safest way to flash. The stock fast boot ROM is not a recovery ROM. You also can flash a recovery ROM by using this this option. I think. When it finished, the pawn will boot automatically. it flashing super after super you can you can look at the command here after super super and then it flashing cache and then flashing recovery and then flashing custom it will follow this one custom bb meta bb and bb vendor lastly flashing boot and it will reboot just remember if you still got your boot loader use this tool link for the tool uh, over here the tool are made by Suzaki this is the latest one it's in uh, JavaScript 
that's why you need a java runtime error install on your pc to use this tool without the java you can run this tool this is the tool if you can see the logo here the java logo that means you haven't installed the java runtime still flashing super because this super image are really big 6 gb and the see already finished flashing the super now flashing the recovery after recovery is flashing custom you can see the sequence here recovery custom bb meta bb system now it's pressing custom recovery already this one is the super image. A cache, sorry, that's the image cache. And recovery is pressing recovery and pressing custom. See the sequence here. VB meta vendor. Now it reboot. See? This is the safest way for flashing. the stock MIUI now we are flashing the Redmi 7 this one is black hop snapdragon hey sorry this one Redmi Note 8 Pro this one confused oh see problem loader this one are using where are my USB 2.0 This is a Type C. This one uh, micro USB. Let's start the device. The first boot. See, on. ONC on clight that's my camera ok now try me 10x already now the redmi 7 select the rom where you put your rom the fast put rom so Begonia, Begonia Atom. Okay. I have to copy the ROM to the. I got the backup. Fast put. On right, this one.
it's putting this is a China ROM on Redmi 10 X the latest one is 1207 I'm flashing the 1206 now it's putting see I can read Chinese but I don't understand what I read <laughs> copying the okay already finished select the ROM on clyde method clean install and flash now it's flashing Cannot focus the camera. Too bright. Tap. I don't want to sing with the Xiaomi. Is it just now? So, full of bloatware. <laughs> Next time, don't buy the China ROM device. Wait for the global. Since the Redmi 10X, there is no global. Top 06. The update, the latest version are top 07. Yeah, the. Top zero seven. Download update. After this, I show you how to deploy, remove the unwanted software on it. A lot of bloatware. Flash system error. Wah. Why? getting the error too many link why why too many link
Okay, there is another method. Come on, camera. Manually. One, two, three, four. Copy this for the command menu to the Folder here and press. Okay. So let's put aside. We type manually. You can see on your keyboard here the cursor inside the folder, the ROM folder. After you copy the ADB, ADB API, ADB install USB, and another one is first put this for simple uh, what I call it uh, ADB command. Put your cursor inside the folder and on your keyboard shift hold the right button and choose open power PowerShell window here okay over here we're going to type what we're going to press the important one system user data vendor the custom the cache on it custom and the boot Okay, over here you're going to type fast boot flash system system dot img. We're going to flash manually and enter it's not detecting hmm. that's why the problem arise control C let's check whether the device connected or not yes mean we don't have the driver fast Yes, it detects the device ID. So, system. the driver problem no it's detect my cable a problem Thank you. 
You hold on because the device are using the USB 2.0. I have to change the port. One more time. Shift. It's okay now. It's placing the boot image. So after the boot image, you can up to you as as long as the correct file are fresh. Boot fresh recovery. IMG. Okay. Recovery already. Now we flash the system. IMG. This is manually. We can use the tool because just now I'm using the wrong port on my PC. I'm using the USB 3.0 port. Okay, we can try to use the tool. Same thing also, but for the tool, you press all the file everything since you only corrupt the system why not you just press the system only or your if you root your device and then suddenly it uh, boot loop then you flash the boot image only this is the boot image recovery already after that, we press system and then vendor. This is manually. You can use a tool also. Just now, the wrong port I'm using. This is another method if you still got the recovery, eh, not recovery, the fast boot the bootloader if your bootloader are corrupt then he only way EDL mod that one you need the uh, account the show me if you got permission to flash the ROM the author authentication account authorize the flash then 
mostly the account only valid for the particular person especially the Xiaomi service center they got the uh, authorized to flash because now Xiaomi seems blocking the flashing method why most of the China ROM version of the device that also got the global version and the seller from China they flash the global version on the China version then they increase the price for the device the China version device the price are cheap compared to the global version the global version got the uh, what you call the GMS the Google service and the China ROM don't have the Google service that's why the device are cheaper now the newer release Xiaomi device that come with MIUI 12.5 12.5 that one you can install Google service they block it after please replace vendor and then flash user data okay we can boot our write me note 8 to fast boot by using the tool it faster compared to you may I do it manually one two three four inside the system one is system one is system extension one is uh, I think the product and another one there is five system file the biggest one are system file this is the one nine minutes using the wrong pot just now <laughs> never mind this is another lesson how to flash manually via fast put ADB fast put just get the uh, ADB driver one two three four this one the command this folder for flashing any image on your ADB via fast put normally we flash uh, the custom recovery and this folder for Redmi Note 8 Pro same also on the Poco X3 1, 2, 3, 4 and another fast method you type everything on the notepad copy and paste here copy and paste here Okay. 
Okay, let's try to bend the here. Something wrong, it's praising. Freeze, I say freeze, control C. Skipping this one. start from beginning rewrite it control C and then we, we try to refresh it back okay finish now first put flash bender press and press enter Thus we have the BB meta here. Yep, we got it. BB meta, this one important also. And then, flash your user data. Copy. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's still finished. <laughs> Be patient now. User data, uh, user data also very big. Hmm, faster. Lastly, PB meta. Okay. Passport reboot. Fast. Put, we put now the device reboot. Eh, problem. <laughs> this is the error. Put back to put loader. Hmm? It's put. The touchscreen problem on this phone, that's why I don't use it. Okay, leave it aside. Now, read me not 8 Pro. Reboot. Hold the minus button. Okay. 
okay we are in a fast food get the cable okay connected <coughs> the fast food pick on here yeah. so select the ROM on my desktop top 06 and latest one top 07 method clean install and flash see very fast it flashing using the correct pot USB pot just now for the Redmi I'm using the wrong port because this one is a older device still using USB port 2.0 that's why I have to use the converter because my PC are all the port are USB 3.0 and 3.1 and also 3.2 and have to use the adapter for it to convert the USB 3.0 to 2.0 this is the converter the hub from USB 3.0 to 2.0 now it booting Redmi 7 just now <laughs> the touchscreen problem this one just show you how it was done manually on this one you can use the tool also make sure correct port for it flashing bender almost done now flashing system <laughs> 2.4G only no 5G before this we see the error on this one see there custom after flashing custom the last one are uh, VB Meta custom VB meta user data and boot it's 
now flashing user data after that flashing boot image and hit done the pawn will reboot now my redmi 7 already alive it almost dead flashing manually Okay, finish. It's booting. You can unplug the cable. Redmi Note 8 already, or Redmi Note 8 Pro already. The Redmi 10X 5G <coughs> full of bloodway. Okay. This one. how to deblot the unwanted app this one easy yes I'll install Just click everything. Read the uh, cannot install. Me wallet. Nope. Yeah. Uninstall all. Misto also can be uninstalled. How many plot way already? one you must have game cannot be understood in video okay go to setting to furthermore the blood remove the unwanted app my device tap on the MIUI version nope not this one all device all spec MIUI version 7 time now you are a developer go to additional setting developer option USB debugging accept give me now 8 already Redmi 7 also almost finished ok we deploying the write me 10 x 5g connect your cable still using the same tool okay there are two devices it detects one is my mi10 and another is 10x 5G that's why it's getting error here so I have to disconnect the 
Redmi, I'm sorry, I'm i10. After this. to give permission speed parking come on connect the security Now it's connected. Yeah, hold on, let me on the camera so that you see. Yes, be debugging. Atom. Here. We try to remove. unwanted app a lot of it that you don't use the FM radio that's rubbish rubbish okay let's see what you can remove analytic app wall app wall is uh, this one browser you can use uh, other browser the calculator this one I think the Chinese calculator nah. it's up to you if you want to remove, remove the calculator ok I remove it cleaner is safe to remove compass you can remove FM radio feedback also can be removed joy joyous this one can be removed this one is the what you call the home mail me cloud me credit me drive me mover you can tick everything but not all can be removed you can see the error over here you have to try to remove it me roaming, me share, me video, me wallet, 
me wallpaper this one don't remove otherwise your home page may crash me pay client my diamond this one can music not power detector recorder this one for sound recorder pretty useless scanner is up to you I don't use screen recorder I don't use this one the third party service feedback this one is uh, another keyboard there is another keyboard first don't, don't uninstall it download the uh, google keyboard after you download the google keyboard then you can remove this one weather with the users yellow pages one also important but you can remove it also okay uninstall you can see the list of the app will be removed some of the app here will be removed getting less my diamond successfully successfully evolve browser success calculator this one calculator Save to Redmi Note 8 Pro also, you can remove the unwanted app, the useless app that may use your RAM. see less app now after this all this app will be gone Redmi Note 8 Pro done. Redmi 7 is okay now. Less Broadway, not so many Broadway. I 
and install this one and install let me seven okay This is Android 9, 11.02, done, everything done. that's it for my video this time me flash pro cannot be used anymore it's useless say requesting for your me account okay that's it sorry for the long video i hope you understand what to do and what not to do don't use sp flash tool the me flash pro tool also problem now me flash tool also don't use if you still got your bootloader yeah especially the fast boot mod if it available use this tool okay link for the tool I will give in the description and also you have to install the Java for the tool once again thank you for watching and stay 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 safe stay at home